Hey guys, I'm trying to break the monotony. I want to tell you something here. It's a true story that happened uh, most likely 27, 28 years ago. It was me back in Ohio with my black buddy. <laughs> yeah, black buddy named uh, Rufus. Yeah, we were sitting at a bar over there. And we were hanging out with uh, Vaughn. Uh, you know the actor now. Uh, I'll get to his name in a second. Uh, he later became uh, Christopher Lambert. And when I worked with him on films and I saw him many years later, he goes, I'm not Vaughn anymore. He goes, I'm Christopher Lambert, Mr. Christopher Lambert. <clears throat> anyway, a kind of a weird story. Uh, but, uh, you know, to, to break into what I'm saying, uh, I came back to uh, California. I was driving a 1969 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And my uh, cousin, Lori, apparently uh, got my keys backed out and backed into uh, his Pinto. And uh, he came up to the door and he's banging out the door. Dan, what the fuck did you hit my car for? And all this other shit. And you just walk away, and I'm taking this dump, and I walk out the door, and I went, Vaughn, man, I hate your damn car. He goes, well, why is your car here? I went, I don't know why my fucking car is here. And so I went outside, I put my hand on top of the radiator, and sure enough, it was warm. So then we found out that my cousin Lori, God bless her soul, but, uh, you know, she's alive, don't worry, you know, she, she, she's still alive, she's still kicking, but... Uh, she took off and she ran into my mom's place and uh, he goes, well, I, he goes, I'm going to scare the hell, you know, scare the hell out of her and shit. So he went ahead and uh, me and him went out there and he threatened to put her in jail, hit and run and all that other bullshit. Da, 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 da. And, and at all that time he was doing that, he was looking over at winking at me. So uh, what I did was I, uh, <laughs> I just fixed his fender. It's no big deal. This put a new fender on at Charlie Lowe's junkyard for like 15 bucks back in the day. And I repainted it yellow and the Pinto was good to go, you know, so no, no big thing, but, uh, <clears throat> I don't, don't even know why that just popped in my head, but <clears throat> anyway, it's a uh, Sunday night. I'm just uh, having a good time. Uh, I just thought I, I might do another quick video. <clears throat> I'll, uh, double check it. If I put this up on YouTube uh, later, I'll take out the story about uh, Christopher Lambert, A.K. Vaughn, all that. <clears throat> but anyway, this goes back to my uh, black friend. Yeah, that all freaks people out back in the '70s and '80s. I tell you, because you know, you know, white people, you know, that was with black guys or whatever. They go, you know, you either a, a, a freak or whatever. But yeah, I didn't give a shit. Rufus was a cool dude. And, uh, you know, Afro-American, they started that stuff back in, uh, I think, 90s, whatever. So, you know, so that's a lot of years in between. But anyway, I'm going to do the voice of uh, Rufus. And uh, God bless you, brother, if you're still kicking. But, uh, and I'm going to do my voice. Uh, we were at the uh, bar, and we're drinking and shit. <clears throat> and my uh, alternator in the car was dying out. So I'm going to start that way. We get out, we get out of the uh, bar before, you know, 30 minutes before closing. We got last call for alcohol and all that shit. In the state of Ohio, you know, that's like, you know, one to one fifteen, and you can buy to go. So you can fill your shit up and go and continue the party somewhere else. So anyway, what happened was we uh, were in the bar, we played pool and all that stuff. And, uh, put all the stuff in the back of the car and we fired up the old car and we took off. Uh, it was a 1974 uh, Monte Carlo, which I was restoring. <clears throat> the uh, Delta cord was the power cord on the alternator. It was loose that we I had no idea. So sometime it would charge the battery and the light would come on. It would like dim. And then it would come on and go off and on because it because it wasn't tight. And so anyway, we leave the bar and I drive about three miles and the light came on, the battery light came on. 
and then I then it just stayed on bright. The nut on the alternator fell off. Mechanics know what I'm talking about. If you can't charge, you can't charge, you, and you run on the battery. Anyway, the funny part is we stopped, and the car broke down on the side of the road in between two graveyards. Now, my place is on the other side of the graveyard. So we parked the car. <clears throat> it's too late to call anybody. So we get out and we put the backpacks on <clears throat> and we start going through the graveyard. Rufus, Afro-American, God bless you, brother. Anyway, he don't like to walk through <clears throat> a graveyard. So here we go. Hey, Rufus, what's the what, man? Hey, brother, hey, man, we got to go through the graveyard. Cause, hey, you crazy, man? Hey, the black motherfuckers over there, man. The dead people over there. They're the, the fucking dead in the ground, man. The white people are dead in the ground. The the, the, the haters are dead in the ground. And, and you want the black man, you want the black guy, man, to walk through the fucking graveyard, dude, man. And the black man to go through the graveyard and, and, and to walk all the way through there and to be cool. I said, man, they, they got the voodoo over there. I mean, they got the dead people over there, and they going to fuck with the black man because the black man going to go right to the graveyard. And I've been drinking, dude, and and my soul ain't right right now. And what they're going to do is this. We're going to walk to that graveyard. They're going to see this scared nigga. They're going to see this guy, and they're going to fuck with me, man. They're going to fuck with me. They're going to fuck with me. Oh, they're gonna look at you, man. And go, oh, he a white boy, and he a white man, he a white ghost, man. You got the light, baby. You got the light, baby. You got the light, man. You got the light. But they're gonna fuck the black man. They're gonna fuck this nigga, man. They're gonna put me in hell, man. R Rufus, calm down, dude. We're good. It's a six. To eight minute walk, man. We get the road, we cross the road, we're good. Man, what you doing to me, man? You gonna they're gonna fuck me in the ass, man. Okay, Rufus, how about this? Fuck the graveyard. Fuck the graveyard. And you, keep your voice down, man. You're gonna get the fucking cops over here. What's your idea, man? What's your idea, man? Fuck the graveyard. Got one over here, one over here. How about we just walk right through the road? Man, I ain't walking down the road in between the two black and the two white graveyards, man. You got the ghost over here, you got the ghost over here, and you got the devil coming up to the black motherfucker coming up this way. Because I'm drunk, man. And, and, and I ain't got no soul when I'm drunk, dude. Then what do you want to do? He goes... Man, we already in the grave, y'all. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, let's go. So we're walking through the graveyard. Now, this actually happened. We walk through the graveyard, and there's this white building. There's a long bench, and it's hot and cold. This is this is in Ohio. So you, this mist was coming up around the graves. I know what that is. That's moisture. That is moisture. And everybody knows what moisture is, especially if you ever watch a, a Alfred Hitchcock movie or any movie, when you got hot and cold or whatever, you got the mist around the stones. That's natural, natural phenomena. Well, we're walking through there and everything's good. Now, we only had about a, probably a quarter mile left to get through the damn thing. And I was hearing Rufus do this whole bullshit deal. And he, he he's yelling so much, he could have woke the goddamn dead. So anyway, if you ever wanted to do if you ever wanted to do something crooked with Rufus, don't take him with you. But anyway, this is what happened after that point. Hey Dan man, what the fuck, man? They're coming after the black man. Look at that motherfucker over there. Look at that motherfucker over there. Fuck man, they're coming out the fucking ground, man. They're rising, they're rising. Yeah, fuck you. And he fucking ran. I went, Rufus. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. I said, man, you just turned into fucking white lightning. Don't call me white. White lightning. Fuck you. And he ran across the street. 
He ran so fucking fast, he ran into a tree. That's right. He went, bam, right into a tree. He knocked his ass out. He got fucking cold out, shit, shit. I walked up. I found him in the fucking snow. I pick him up. Now he thinks I'm an angel. <laughs> He's so fucking scared. I pick my black buddy up. I put him on my fucking shoulder. And then he realizes that I'm alive. He grabs me. I take him and I walk him all the way to my mom's porch. And I set him on a fucking porch. He's breathing. His eyes are fucking this fucking big. And he goes, man, now what you going to do? I says, I'm going to go back and get my car. He goes, you're a crazy white motherfucker. I said, stay here. I called my twin brother to go over and get my vehicle. My twin brother is fucking, I'm not fucking moving. So I went, you know what? Fuck it. So I ended up staying with Rufus at my mom's place. And then I took my mom's car to take that scared guy home. And you know what he told me? He goes, there's a reason, man, they call a man a spook. <laughs> He goes, niggas are spooky. <laughs> anyway, so I, I dropped my buddy off. <laughs> the following Friday, I call him on the phone and ask him if he wanted to go drinking at the bar. He goes, yeah, man, where do you want to go? I was oh, the same place we were. He goes, did you get your car fixed? And I went, yeah, the car is fixed. Yeah, fuck you, man. You try to fuck with the black man, man. No, I go anywhere, but I ain't going in that place again. I'm not walking in the graveyard again. It ain't going to fucking happen, dude. You know, where you want to go? I went, well, let's go to Tommy's Rack. He goes, Tommy's Rack? What the fuck's Tommy's Rack? Because don't you like to play pool? I'm, that guys don't play pool, man. They play video games and shoot the basketball, man. They don't pick a fucking play the fucking pool, Paul. They don't play pool. You know, we need some rock and roll, man. We need some fucking shit, man. We need all this stuff, man. We don't play the fucking pool, man. I said, what do you want to do? And he goes, I just want to get drunk. I went, okay. We'll go to Tommy's Rack and we'll get drunk. All right, man. Go to Tommy's Rack. So I took him to Tommy's Rack over there. The first thing he did was he hit on two black broads. The first thing he did after about three hours after he's drinking a little bit, the black broads tell him that he is a fucking fool. And then he turned into some friggin' spaceman, whatever. He started telling these women about the ghosts from two weeks ago in, in the graveyard and the shit and whatever, and then they really walked away. And then he tried to hit this white, then, then he tried to talk to this white broad about it. And the white broad looked at me like I was fucking insane. I said, they ain't my friend. So I just had to bow out and be a ball normal. The bottom line is, I just took him home. And then a week later, I asked him if he wanted to go drinking again. You know what he told me? Now, listen to this. This is going to blow your mind. He'd been my friend for almost 16 years. You know what he told me? Man, I love you to death. But, man, you always get the black man in trouble. You ain't nothing but a white devil. You, you took me to a graveyard. You got me involved with the ghost. Man, you had any motherfucker come out to me and chase my fucking ass? It hit me in the motherfucking head, knocked my motherfucking ass out, and I fucking fell on the fucking ground, and you fucking picked me up like a white angel, and then I turned out it was you, and went over the fuck, and then you brought me over here, and then in the three black bitches on, on the other side, they didn't want fucking nothing to do with me, and then the white bra, so I was fucking, fucking crazy, and, 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 and fuck you, man, uh, uh, we do anything, you know, we do anything together, but uh, we ain't going out anymore, ain't going out anymore. In the dark, man. Ain't going out in the dark. But I'll go anywhere what you want in the daytime. Is that cool? In the daytime, we go out. But at nighttime, from, from like 6 to midnight, we ain't fucking doing nothing, man. Because every time, 6 to midnight, or the 2 fucking in the morning, we all fucked up, man. The ghosts come, the voodoo, and the boo-woo, and the woo the woo the... I can't even fucking think, man, when I'm with you, man, because you're all fucking crazy, man. I went, Rufus? I think you're fucking nuts. He goes, man, I'm a black man. 
people need to give me respect, man. I went, I get respect. I didn't let nobody kill you. I put up with all your shit. And he goes, man, I'm sorry. You're the best friend I ever had. I apologize. Anyway, that's my story with Rufus. He went to Lorraine High School. A little bit off. A little bit crazy. Didn't believe in, he believed in a lot in voodoo. He don't like ghosts. And you just mentioned the word spook. <laughs> He's out of there. Anyway, love you guys. I figure I'd just throw in a, another funny story. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to add, add this stuff to uh, my uh, comedy album of true events. But, uh, you know, funny shit and... It's like a lot of artists, when they uh, do songs, uh, they think about their life, and that's how they make music, and that's what makes it good, especially John Bon Jovi when he did the song about a woman who treats him like shit, and, you know, they give love a bad name. Uh, that's how that started, because John Bon Jovi actually was, was had definitely, de definitely had a girl. He uh, busted his balls for her, busted. He worked his ass off for this woman. And she kept fucking him, fucking him, fucking him, fucking him, fucking him. So in later in life, when he was starting to do his lyrics, that's how uh, you give love a bad name. And it became a number one hit. So sometimes pain and sorrow in your life can uh, rock the dollars. So remember that. Uh, take your pain, turn it into cash. Think about it. Anyway, love you guys. I got to go. Peace. And uh, just love one another. All right? Paulette's over here laughing her ass off at me right now. Yeah. Just gave me a kiss. And she just winked at me. Yeah, and the voice I was uh, mimic mimicking was uh, Chris Rock. So, love you, Chris. You know, it's hard for a white man to talk like you, but love you. <laughs> oh, now she's like this. So, I got to go. Anyway, I'll be back when I'm done. Later. <laughs>